The Commonwealth of Puerto Rico is one of 14 territories governed by the United States and is currently being pushed by some for statehood into our union. While Puerto Rican statehood may sound nice, this ill-advised plan would further divide us and not unite us. Here's what you need to know about Puerto Rican statehood. As U.S. citizens, residents of the Caribbean island do not pay federal income taxes, but can freely move between the island and the rest of the United States. Puerto Ricans are not eligible to vote in presidential elections and do not have voting representation in Congress. Efforts to add Puerto Rico as a state in our union have been debated for decades, but have failed for several reasons, including the island's financial and economic woes, and because the territory is predominantly Spanish-speaking. That's because accepting the island of approximately 3 million residents as a new state without a specific designation of English as the primary official language of the island would automatically transform the United States into a bilingual nation, creating a sharp cultural and political divide and adding high costs to government translation and other services. It's critical that our nation preserve English as a common unifying language for schools, public institutions, and all levels of government. In fact, recommendations from President Barack Obama's task force on Puerto Rico's status stated that, if Puerto Rico were to be considered for statehood, Congress has ultimate authority over admission and English must play a central role in the daily life of the island. Polls consistently show that Americans believe preserving English as our common language is vital to maintaining our national unity. That's why Americans should reject any statehood measure for Puerto Rico until a large majority of the island's residents become fluent in English and the island adopts English as its official language of government.